Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's love reading. Um, I know that this isn't the most glamorous setup that I have, um, but I have a lot of junk piling up on my desk and since I have the house to myself, I thought I would just, <laughs> I would just film here downstairs. I'll move this back. Since I have the whole table space here, um, so we'll just make do with <laughs> the ugly, uh, setup. I don't have anything glamorous, no crystals. Um, it's just me, the table and the cards. Um, so my client has a question regarding their relationship. They just recently got back with their ex. Um, and so my client is just curious to know, um, if the relationship is going to work you know, how things are gonna go this time around um, with their significant other. So, um, I have been working with the Psychic Tarot. Oops, <laughs> they're all out of order. Oh, that's, oh, these three cards, I have them like, they're from a different deck and they're all mixed in. So, okay, I've been working with the Psychic Tarot, the Rider Waite, the chakra reading cards, um, the angel answers, and every once in a while I'll pull from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Um, but these decks are like magic. The last week or so I have been doing readings for clients um, and they have the, these, these are the cards that I've been using. So I'm just gonna continue with that because they've been really aligning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle, we're gonna pull cards, and we're gonna dive right into the energy of your relationship. And we're gonna just look and see how um, things are going with you guys. And yeah. So if anyone who's watching, if you have never had a tarot reading done before, um, these readings are completely anonymous. I don't mention my clients names, nothing, um, there's no personal information being put out there. These are basically anonymous readings. I put them public so that people can see how I read and, you know, if they're curious to get a reading themselves. Um, but you can check out my online shop. It is thecacklingmoon.storeenvy.com. You just click the link below. And if you align with my energy and if you want a reading, go ahead and check me out. And I would love to read for you. My readings are done um, by video. So just like this, I will be filming and um, let me move this over here, kind of at this angle so that I have this big old window next to me. I'm probably gonna close the blinds, but there we go. Um, my video readings are recorded, they're pre-recorded, and then sent to you with a link so you can watch them. Um, I also have snail mail readings, which are handwritten letters. And I also do in-person readings. So if you are local, um, Southern California, we can meet up and I can do a reading for you in person. But yeah. Ooh, okay, so this is the end. <laughs> the cards are like, please stop talking. Let's start reading. <laughs> And as you guys can tell, I like to use multiple cards for my readings. That is just the way I do it. Uh, let's move this over here. I just want you to be able to see the table and less of my, less of my body. <laughs> okay, so we have life purpose. I love it. I am presence and love. So I'm pulling on the energy of your relationship right now, okay? So for the energy of your relationship, I'm seeing life purpose, um, love, I am presence, which is really, really good to be honest. Um, okay, so we have the King of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> no need to worry, I love that. 
prosperity begins, discontent and boredom, partnerships and alliances, and passion ignited. Okay, right off the bat, my love, um, right off the bat, you you guys have a really beautiful connection right now. Um, I am seeing, especially with the life purpose card, that you guys are very much on a really good road. You needed that break for a reason, okay? Um, you really needed that break to kind of learn about yourselves, to figure shit out. I apologize, I have like so much junk like on this table. <laughs> um, to figure yourselves out, to figure out, you know, what did you guys need from each other? What did you, you know, what were you lacking when you were um, together? A lot of times relationships do need a break. Sometimes we have to do that to have like that little bit of a reset, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm definitely seeing the life purpose card to reveal that um, you guys are on the right track, okay? Taking that little step, taking that little break was much needed. Um, I'm going to have to be able to see myself just a little bit here with the camera. Just to make sure it... Make sure I'm getting it all. Um, yeah, you definitely needed that. The love and the I am presence card is beautiful. Um, the love card is, is aligning. It's basically saying your energy right now with your relationship is you guys are very much focused on um, connection of your heart. Your heart chakra is on part. Um, you guys are just doing what you need to be doing to reconnect. You are in a healing mode. You guys are, are living in the present, which is a big one. This one is really important. Hang on one second. Let me put this. I should have put this down before I started the reading. Because <laughs> the sun is going to start setting and it's going to interfere with this camera. So what I should have done was done that before, but you know, that's a live reading for you. <laughs> um, so I am presence is telling me that you guys are really focused right now on just really living in the present moment. You're not working, worried about the past, or at least you shouldn't be. So make sure that that's something you guys are really focused on is that you are um, paying attention to the present. What is going on right now in this moment? You're not worried so much about your futures. You're not worried so much about what happened in the past, especially when you guys are starting it over again. If you took a break and now you're starting over with the relationship, stop and don't um, don't tap into the past unless there are topics that you know you need to talk about and you know learn from or whatever to go over and, and get closure from. But I don't like to um, tell clients to focus too much on the past, especially if you're mending a relationship, um, because that can bring up old wounds. That could be like opening up a can of worms kind of thing. And you really don't want to do that. You really want to be in the moment. Living in the present, especially when you are healing a relationship is very important. Um, focusing on the future is somewhat, you know, it's going to come up eventually, especially if the two of you are seeing your relationship go into the direction of marriage or moving in together or taking another step. Um, but right now, I really think what is important is focusing on the present. I love that there's a lot of green in this card as well as the, the love card. It's, it's the, the heart chakra is green um, because green to me is abundance. It's earth. It's growth. And I think that that's right now, that's the energy of your relationship. That is what you guys should be focusing on is the growth of you guys. Okay, the angel card, right off the bat, I'm just gonna say it, the angels are saying no need to worry. Now, usually I don't read um, angel, like like angel readings or um, you know angel messages and stuff. I don't really, I used to, but I don't align so much now with angel cards, but these angel answer cards are so amazing. Um, I've been loving them. So I just wanted to put that out there that the message here, and I apologize for the glare, the cards are very <laughs> shiny. Um, the, the message here is no need to worry. So your initial question of, you know, are you guys going to work? Are you guys going to work out? Are you guys going to last? 
Is your relationship going to continue to grow? Um, the angels are basically saying like, no need to worry. Yes, you guys are in a moment. Um, right now I'm seeing that the personality traits um, with the tarot cards, the king of swords, which I'm taking this to, to, to show your ex, or I should say your present lover, um, coming up as a king of swords, they can be a little bit stubborn. Um, I feel that they could be a little bit um, harsh. Maybe they say things before thinking it out. You know, they just kind of word vomit a little bit. Um, that might be one of the reasons why the two of you needed a break is because maybe they say things, they're, they're a little bit hurtful, or you guys had a lot of little arguments, that kind of thing, or they're control freaks, you know, whatever it is, a king of swords can have its good moments, but it also has its negatives. Um, so I also see with the page of pentacle aligned with it, that's making me feel like, um, bringing in new ideas to this relationship. Now that you guys are on the, um, the road to recovery, the road to healing with yourselves together, the page of pentacles is like bringing in new opportunities, new ideas, um, to the mix. So this is coming up with new ways that the two of you can spend time together, your dates, you know. Um, don't fall into the pit of the same thing. Don't fall in the pit of getting in a routine and not growing from that. I really feel like the page of pentacles is saying um, bring new ideas to the mix, to the relationship, to keep things exciting. And then... The Eight of Wands is saying movement forward. So I do see growth. I do see a lot of forward movement towards the future. I see a lot of that taking place with you guys as well. So that's a really good plus. Um, warning sign though, with the Eight of Wands, sometimes things that the flow of it can go a little bit too fast. So be careful that you're not rushing things just for the sake of, you know, you want to get a move on with the relationship and everything. Um, don't rush it, you know, take, let it take its time, take your time with it, but know that it's headed in a good thing. It's headed for the future. Um, prosperity begins, I pulled for you. So there's growth ha happening. The seeds have been planted. Um, what happens with prosperity beginning is you need to put energy into this. So the cards are showing the hands are putting are like resting over the little seed where the tree is growing from. You have to make sure that you are putting energy into this relationship, both of you, not just you. It has to be the two of you. So the both of you have to be putting um, energy, love, time, devotion, um, conversations, you know, <laughs> new ideas, all that kind of good stuff into the mix to get this relationship to continue to grow and evolve. Um, discontent and boredom is popping up. So this can show the tendencies for if you do fall into routines, you know, you have the tendency to grow bored either with one another or with the relationship. So that's another reason why that page of pentacle was screaming at me to say, um, make sure you're bringing new ideas, new dates, date nights. Don't make things too much of a routine. You want to have excitement, passion still. Um, we have partnerships and alliances, so obviously, you know, that's the two of you guys working together, teamwork, but I also love that Passion Ignited came up too, because I was just saying that with the boredom card, you guys have to keep passion alive. Um, it's like reigniting that flame, okay? Don't mind the noise in the background, it's the dogs there. <laughs> I had to lock them up outside. Um, Passion ignited is reigniting the flame, you know, that passion, getting it to come out again for between you two. Um, this is, you know, don't fall into old routines. Make sure you guys are, you know, enjoying yourselves and don't use sex as a form of keeping, how do I say this? Don't abstain from sex because you're angry at the person or because, you know, you didn't do this so I'm not going to give you that. Like sex shouldn't become a something that is that you take away in order to get something that you want. Um, sex is passionate. Sex should always be passionate, intimate. Um, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, don't start to making it toxic, you know, because when you do that, it really just takes away. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm not explaining it right, but I think you'll understand what I mean. 
Um, and I'm not saying that you do this, but I feel like you, you two have tendencies to um, make sex something that is the first to go when you're not connecting, whereas usually sex is something that will bring people together. So, um, <laughs> just something I wanted to put out there. Okay, now I really wanna pull, now that we know the energy of your relationship, we are 15 minutes in. Um, so I just wanna pull, because we already basically answered your question. You, you asked if the two of you are going to remain together and whatnot, yes, I do see that. Um, so long as you are focused on the present, living in the present, having some goals for the future, but live in the present, um, and don't worry so much about the past. If you do that, and if you are each putting in your effort, time, love, devotion, all of that stuff, um, you know, this, this relationship will continue to evolve. Okay. So let's pull on um, what's to come in the future. So I'm pulling the four of um, cups, the five of pentacles, and the six of pentacles. I do see that in the future there is the potential for some rough waters. And I'm not going to lie um, that this can show a little bit of a worrisome. Now, you didn't tell me, you didn't tell me how... The two of you broke up beforehand oh the reasons why i mentioned you know that your significant other is a king of swords um but this is kind of coming up as maybe a social issue or a cheating issue um or maybe you know someone was talking to someone else or someone was lying because the, the seven of swords is coming up the five of swords which is you know arguments and whatnot um not someone not putting in equal amounts of effort into the relationship so somebody got lazy um there was a lot of disconnect so what i'm seeing is the potential of the same cycle happening in the future okay i don't like to be the bearer of bad news but i will say um if i see that things can you know start happening i do see that this can be an issue that if you have a bad reputation or he has a bad reputation of, you know, straying away or lying or whatever, those are things, these are issues that the two of you need to be on top of because this is stuff that may come up in the future, okay? Um, I have inner child, determination, and rebirth. Um, inner child is making me feel like this was um, a childhood issue as well. Perhaps you observed um, as a child your parents having issues communication issues um, or maybe you grew up with one parent that wasn't around or this could be your significant other's um, childhood as well um, the determination card and the rebirth you're very determined to make this work you really feel a connection to this person you really want this relationship to grow and evolve um, so like I said if you really want this to work there's a lot of little holes. I'm getting the image of like um, little black holes where little worms can crawl through. Um, so I feel like Spirit is showing me that and saying this relationship may start to feel like it's it can go quickly down the drain um, the minute you are too relaxed, the minute that you don't put you know work and effort into this. Or him, you know, if, if your significant other starts to get lazy, um, it can go south really quickly. And I will say, if there was cheating in the past or there was, like, you know, a lot of social issues, letting outside influences happen, lying, um, that kind of thing. If there was those issues in the past, you know, just because you get back together and try to work things out, it doesn't mean that those things go away. It just means that you have to work harder to keep those things away from, um, you know, interfering in your relationship again. So that's that's just something else to think about. Um, I pulled awareness, emotional loss, and solitude. So this relationship in the future may have a tendency for the two of you to find another break, okay? Um, will it last forever? I don't like to answer those kind of questions because, um, you know, <laughs> I'm not, like, I don't know for sure. Like, I can't say, yes, you will be together forever because things change, shit happens, you know? 
Um, if this shit happens though, this toxicity, um, and if you two don't learn from your mistakes and you don't try to change that, then, um, you know, it could very well go into the direction of a break. And so angels just said yes. So um, be very, very careful. I will say it like that. Be very careful of, of allowing your relationship to fall back into old routine, okay? If you allow it or if you notice that it's starting to head back into the old routine of um, giving up, you know, you're arguing all the time, you know, he's he's being weird with his social media or you're being weird or someone's seeing someone else or a love triangle or lying. I just see all that. Someone's putting more effort than the other person. Those kind of, those kind of signs, um, be very wary that if you, if you do start to fall into that flow again, um, the relationship will, um, will, will, be gone it will it will end I don't know how to say, I don't know how else to say it without sounding so mean but um awareness card is really making me feel like it's telling you spirit is saying to use your intuition and to be aware and to notice the red flags when the red flags start to come up don't ignore them okay I really feel like that's what awareness is saying is like don't ignore red flags if you see your relationship start to fall into the same routine you need to address it Emotional loss, okay? This could be losing the love for one another, not feeling tight with one another. Um, the solitude card, I'm reading that as going single again, okay? So I do see that this, because this was I was pulling this in the future, um, if you aren't gonna be working hard for this relationship, then it has potential to, yes, fall apart. It will end. Um, so that's, I'm being real with you, my love. I am definitely being real. And I'm not saying that it's you, that it's only you. Um, I'm saying it's the both of you. The two of you have to both be working towards um, this relationship. It can't just be one-sided. So um, if you're comfortable with him seeing the reading, I would recommend showing him the reading so that he can see it too. Um, but that's up to you. And just understand that any relationship, um, it... It requires both people to put their energy into it. It's never one-sided. It should not be one-sided. And if it is one-sided, then that's an issue. So that is that. We are 22 minutes in. Um, I'm just going to pull for some advice for you because that was quite a rough way to end your reading. So I pulled the Three of Wands, the World card, and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like the tarot is kind of just telling you to hang in there. Um, there may be other opportunities or other options. Your eyes may wander, okay? There might be somebody else who's going to um, pique your attention. We got the authority card. This is also like the, um, the emperor card. So I'm feeling like there might be somebody else who's going to pique your interest because I see the three of wands is saying you're going to be looking elsewhere. So um, just because this relationship doesn't work out doesn't mean that you'll never find love again. They're, the cards are kind of showing as a device that there's always um, someone else, somewhere else, you know. Um, and also I feel like the nine of wands is reading to me. Like my intuition is telling me to say... Um, you've put in a good fight, you know, you've done all you can. And if you've literally done all you can to make this relationship work and it still doesn't work out, understand that you did your best, okay? But the world card is showing me, like the world is not over. The world isn't ending, you will find someone new. And the authority card is just kind of saying, I feel like there is gonna be someone that's gonna pop up. Yeah, romance. There is going to be someone that's going to pop up who's going to pique your interest, who, you know, you might find attractive or you might be curious about. So, um, I, I, my intuition is leading me to feel like 
right now in the moment, you're going to be working on this relationship. You're in a good energy, but I do feel like things are going to start falling back into old routine. And if that does happen and no one and you and your significant other aren't doing anything about it, the relationship will end up going sour. Um, but this, the cards, the advice cards are, sh are showing like there's going to be new light. There will be someone else. Okay. So if this relationship does go sour, there will be something else happening in the background. And life purpose card came up. So um, I feel like it's like cycles that are beginning and ending. This is, this is all if the relationship doesn't work out. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, the way that the tarot works is like we can pull on future and stuff, but everything can change depending on your present actions. So keep that in mind. Um, but basically, to answer your question with your relationship right now, yes, it's in a very good moment. Right now, it's the energy is really good between you two. But there is a lot of work and a lot of attention that you need to address with one another. And if you don't do things to work you know, make, make things work or to fix the, um, the issues, then, you know, you're going to start seeing stuff fall apart. Okay. So keep your head up, my love. And I wish you all the best with that. Thank you for allowing me to read for you. And I hope to read for you again soon in the future. And anybody who is interested, you can book a reading with me by clicking the link below, check out my shop, and I will see you guys later. Bye, my loves.